Alright, hey guys, it's Cassidy Cans. Um, so I'm gonna make a candy necklace for Negan here, and I didn't know if I wanted to make it into a video for my kin's tube or not, but I decided I'll just try and wing it, because it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but I'll try anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna make a necklace for him, and I will show you how I do it. So I want his necklace to be red and black with letters saying his name, obviously. So for this, whenever you're making a candy necklace for your webkins or anything actually, even if it's just a bracelet for yourself, you want to set out the design on the floor or whatever surface you're working on. Um, for me, this is my bed, but yeah. But whatever works for you, just as long as it's not going to like be falling all over the place. And for this, you're kind of going to have to guess how many beads you'll need. And then once you're done, um, it's hard to explain now, but you'll understand when I actually show you. Once you wrap it around your webkin's neck, you'll see if you need more or less. And then you can adjust it as you go. Alright, so this is one side. Then I'm going to add the name in the middle and then I'm going to add another side. And now I have to find the letters for his name. All right, and there's his name, and I'm gonna add the other side. Also, you don't have to do this, but it just, it works out better if, if there's red on this side, then I start with black on this side. But obviously you would apply that to whatever colors you're choosing to do for yours. You also don't have to do this, but I like to put an equal amount of beads on either side, just so it's more equal and that makes it easier to work with. Okay, so another thing is, on this side at the very end, there's a black, so you want to make sure the opposite side is the different color. Otherwise, when you actually connect the necklace, it's going to be like two colors next to each other, if that makes sense, and you don't want that to happen unless that's your preference. I also forgot to mention that you will need bead string specifically for these kind of bracelets. You can find it at any craft store and scissors to cut the string. So now I'm going to put the string through the beads. Also, when you're putting the string through the beads, do not cut it yet until you're sure that that's the amount of beads you want on your necklace. I will explain in a minute. Okay, so here it is on the string, uncut. Okay, this is the hard part that's going to be hard to do on camera, but I'm going to take Negan and Basically, I'm going to wrap it around his neck to see if it fits or if I put too many beads or too little. Alright, so I wrapped it around his neck to test it. Still uncut, still attached. And it's a little bit loose, it's not too bad, but I think I might want to take a few beads out to make it tighter. So, I'm going to take about, I think, four beads off and see how that works. Okay, so without the four beads that I just took away. It's a little bit tight, so I'm going to add like two. Okay, so that looks like it could work, so I'm going to tie the knots and cut it. Okay, so I tied the knot, but I did it about six times. That's the thing with candy, is you want to make sure the knot is secure. So do it as many times as you prefer, but I advise you to do it at least three times or maybe five times if you want to be safe. I did it like five or six times. And now it's the string, as you can see, is still attached to this. So we are just going to cut right about here on this string. Sorry, it's blurry. Because you don't want to not cut close enough and then have string sticking out. And there you go, you can't even tell it's there. The knots here but since I cut it short can't notice it but make sure you don't actually cut the knot and then there you go there's your extra string that you can use later and here is Negan's candy necklace what do you guys think I think it looks cute it suits him so I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and I will see you guys in my next video and let me know if you guys use this for your webkins. I know some people already do, but if you want to try it, let me know if you will. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!